In October 1985, surgeons performed the Mid-South's first heart transplant at Baptist Memorial Hospital, Memphis. In the nearly 25 years since, Baptist has done more than 200 additional heart transplants, giving seriously ill patients another chance at life. In our cover story, Rod Starnes looks at how advances in transplant-related technology are helping people live longer, better lives. Albert McKay admits he didn't know a lot about heart health as a younger man. His brother died of a heart attack when he was just 42. McKay suffered a heart attack of his own in his mid-40s, and his condition didn't improve. And uh, eventually my heart problem uh, deteriorated, even with a pacemaker, uh, and just, you know, it was just downgraded. Um, I was working one night, and uh, felt I was really, really, really sick, and I said, I need to go, I need to go take care of myself today. And uh, that night I went into the hospital, I left work, went to the hospital, and um, I didn't know if I was going to leave there that night. In fact, I didn't. He underwent surgery, but his heart continued to fail. That helped put him on the waiting list for a transplant. But then his worry was finding a suitable organ donor because of his rare blood type. Finally, in 2004, after months of waiting, his cardiologist brought him some good news. One night he came down uh, in the, uh, you know, in the hospital and said, well, you know, I'm going to have to go find your heart myself. <laughs> of course, he was just kidding, you know. Uh, but uh, I guess within a couple of days, they had one. So, um, um, they woke me up in the middle of the night and they said, well, we got to scrub you. And I just scrub, okay, go do what you're going to do. And then they said, we found a heart. And man, I'm in water, we you know, the tears, and I thought it was a joke. McKay received his transplant at Baptist Memorial Hospital Memphis. Baptist Memphis is the only hospital in the Mid-South performing adult heart transplants. Doctors there perform about 15 transplants a year. The program's one-year survival rate is more than 90% which is above the national average. Nurse practitioner Jane Thayer is one of the clinical transplant coordinators at Baptist Memphis. She says there's real work for patients after they receive a transplant. We uh, sit down with our patients and try to help them identify what it is they would like to achieve uh, in life after the transplant. We help them uh, identify goals that they haven't reached or uh, you know, help them decide what they want to achieve with this second chance at life. There's still a challenge for the 108,000 people on the transplant list right now, and the health professionals like Thayer who are trying to help them. And that's the shortage of available organs. But the sad fact is that about 17 patients die each day waiting for an organ donation. So we would like to see this lower, see this number lowered. Albert McKay agrees and hopes more people will become organ donors, giving others like himself a second chance. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starnes.